make good choices, good things happen. Feed what I want to do, feed where I want to go, starve the negativity, starve the destructive behavior. It'll die. What I feed grows. The greatest tool you and I have as people, and this is what makes us unique beyond every other living being entity that has a heartbeat on this planet, every other animal, every other every other germ, every other specimen, I don't care what's out there that's a living organism. What makes you and I unique is whatever we put our time and our focus into grows. What we feed will build and what we starve will die. Time and focus are the most two valuable tools we have as people. Because if I can learn to focus my time on something and my energy and my intention on something, it will magnify. If I take that magnifying glass and I put it on that piece of paper with that sun, the time and the focus will burn that thing up. And everything that you face in your life is the exact same way. You don't have to be the most qualified. You don't have to be the most gifted. You don't have to be the most talented. I don't care what your past has been. I don't care what you have been through. Begin to take control. Put your time, your focus, and the energy on the objectives that you want to create for your life and go get it. And I don't care about anybody's negativity around you. Drown them out. Be the shark around that prey. You circle that thing over and over again. And you don't let anything distract you. I promise you, that's what I did, man. I wrote this book, Change the World. And I said it every single day, I want to take ownership of my life and I'm going to make choices that build and don't tear down. But every day I said, hey, if I can live a life of transparency, accountability, which means I'm going to talk, I'm going to allow mentors and coaches into my life. I can't do this on my own. I need community. We were born to live in relationship with people. None of us are an island, but that causes me to live transparent. I've got to be willing to talk about my stuff, even though it's super uncomfortable sometimes, even though sometimes I don't trust people, even though sometimes I don't feel like people always have my best interest in mind. I'm not telling you to ail your mayor out there to anybody. But there are people in your life that you've got to allow to lean on. Transparency is a powerful tool because it also causes you to process and for you to think. I talk to people not because I need you to always give me a great answer. I talk to people because I believe in the human mind and we are we are freaking geniuses. Every single one of you in here, man, you are a genius. You have the ability to process, to think, to decision make, to create. You are a, a, a unique, very unique person. one of you have a turtle shell on your back and when things get tough boop, uh, -uh I'm going into defense protect mask mode and he said this to me he said Nathan let me ask you did you want to be uncomfortable did you really want to address the issues about your your mental health did you really want to address the issues about your drug addiction did you really want to address the issues about your lack of your father in your life did you really want to address the issues about your attitude and how you treated others and your responsibility your lack of of discipline and and self did you really want to talk to people about the fact that you had put a rope around your neck did you really and i said not really it's kind of uncomfortable he said you're right so if i had this knife right now or if i had this pencil and i said put your hand out and i'm putting the pencil through your hand what are you going to do? Boop! Uh-uh! But he said this. What if I told you, if I don't put the pencil or the knife through your hand, your daughter will die? Cut my hand off. I won't move it for a million years. Forget my hand, take my life. He said, so what you just realized is that you are putting value on that uncomfortable moment because you knew that there was something of great value to you and it was where you were willing to get uncomfortable. Yes. You see, the reason why many of us battle sometimes with change, the reason why many of us battle sometimes with words like anxiety, depression, we battle with some of our, our mental health issues, we battle with the suicidal ideologies and talking about it, we battle with the issues that we're, we're struggling with. It's because we don't understand the great value it takes and how much it can help you because it's so uncomfortable. But when you begin to understand being uncomfortable is the only way we're going to get it better. There's no way around it. You've got to be willing to be uncomfortable, but that's okay 
because we've placed value on being uncomfortable. I know if I begin to talk about my stuff and find the courage and begin to speak up and to speak out and process my emotions and find those trusted caring adults and find those good friends that I can lean on and if I can speak up and speak out and not worry and be anxious and have the anxiety of what's their expectation when I talk about this. I didn't see this coming from you, Nathan. He said, no, 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 no. When you're willing to understand that truthfully, we can change and we can overcome because we're not technology. We have a brain, we have a heart, we have a breath, we have free will, we have choice. People can change. As you go on and chase down your career, whatever that is, whatever that's gonna turn out to look like, if it's college, if it's vocation, if it's just getting a job, whatever it is, Listen to me and let me, let me qualify this. Don't pursue profits, gains. But when I'm talking about profits, I'm not talking about just money, financial. I'm talking about social, emotional, mental, friendship, relational, financial gains. Profits are gains. As you go on to the next chapter, don't pursue profits, pursue purpose. Don't pursue the profits of where can you gain things in life. Pursue your passions and your purpose. Because what happens is a lot of times we go on to college or we go into the next chapter and we're only seeking gains. We're only trying to find out what we can get. Where can we find profits in our lives? And you know what? Let's use financial for a second. Maybe you go to college and you're, you're only your only factoring reasoning for going to college for a degree is because of the money that's in it, the financial profit. You know what? You'll probably get there if you work hard. You'll probably land it. But in 10 years, if you had no passion behind what you were pursuing, if you had no purpose behind what you were pursuing, eventually in 10 years, you're going to turn around and you're going to be so dissatisfied in life. And yep, you'll have a little bit of money and then you'll probably have a house a house note and a car note and bills and responsibilities and you'll kind of be set in this mold and then you're going to turn around in 10 years and you're going to hate where you're at in life because it's not your passion and it's not your purpose. You only pursue profits, gains, and then you're dissatisfied and now you can't really change because you have responsibilities, probably families and financial bills that you can't walk away from the level that you established. Don't pursue profits, pursue purpose as you launch this rocket to the next chapter. You need to take time to figure out your why. You need to take time to figure out what you're passionate about. Because if you pursue your passion, I promise, passion and purpose will always produce gains and profits. Socially, emotionally, and financially, man. I literally work 330 days a year. I'm on the road. I've traveled 27,000 miles in the last month. 27,000. That's back and forth from the East Coast to the West Coast 11 times in the last month. That's a whole trip around the world in the last month. I've worked all the time, but you know what? I never work a day of my life. I love what I do. I don't pursue profits. I pursue my purpose. And my purpose has made a way to have social, emotional, relational, financial gains in my life. Don't pursue profits as you launch out of here. Take the time this summer and ask yourself, what's your why?